Hi, Biddies and Curls. We are back with another video. Today is favorites. Yes, this is January favorites. I don't have that many, but these are some ones that I have discovered that are close to my heart and I absolutely love. It saved me out of some distresses in January. Yes, so we could start off with a good year. So let's get right into this favorites video. So I do have a flop in this video, so stay till the end, and you'll see it for real. Okay, so the first favorite, it was Gin Beauty. Y'all know it was coming, right? I feel like that January is a perfect time to have Gin Beauty LA because it starts off the year with the bang, you know what I'm saying? I really do like that. And yeah, I was just very grateful to be there. I'm so excited. You guys are gonna see a couple of videos from that. I actually did a quick hair tutorial on my little, oh, this was my saving grace during the event because it was raining cats, dogs, lions, giraffes, tigers, and bears. So I actually am going to have a tutorial on how I got this really quick because this was like an emergency sleigh. That's what I need to call this, okay? But this ponytail really saved me. This is like $12.99. It saved my life along with my Eagle Styler coconut. Y'all know I've done a review on this. I will link it over here and or of course it'll be down in the description bar but I really do like this. It snatched my edges. Now before y'all saw me do a wash and go with this, well you haven't seen me do a wash and go with this. I'll have to come and show you guys how I use this because it's a little bit different than how I use it, how I use other gels but it's by far been my favorite since I picked it up in November. So this snatched the edges and I like it that I can like remold my hair afterwards. So I really do love this gel. Y'all know I talked about right before the event, a couple of days before the event, my face broke out because I tried a new product that was actually expired. Get excited. So these actually saved me, these two. I do have a video on like how to save or how to save your skin from a breakout freak out kind of situation so the first thing is the CeraVe moisturizing cream it is amazing it has ceramides and hyaluronic acid I love this cream I use this for my son who has eczema and I had a lot of texture from the breakout so I actually went in with the Dickerson's witch hazel that this is a pore perfecting toner and it's fragrance free and gentle, it's 100%. I definitely wanted to use gentle products on my face and I did not want to use products on top, like makeup on top of it. So I do have that video as well that you guys can check out, but these were my saving grace for real before the event. And it actually cleaned up my skin and cleared it up completely before the event. It happened on a Monday and the event was on, no it happened, did it happen on a Tuesday? Maybe it happened on a Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Can't remember, but it cleared, it cleared it up. So I was really grateful for these two. Another product that I have been loving, this is the Pacifica Coconut Pro Probiotic Water Rehab Cream. This is so good. This is so hydrating. Now I'm gonna tell you what this reminds me of. This reminds me of my First Aid Beauty Hydrating Cream the hydration cream, like the universal one that you can use on your hands, your body, your face, everywhere. This is so good. It's so hydrating. It is crazy. This is to prevent skin hangover. Now, let me tell you what else this reminds me of. This reminds me of a thicker version of the Too Faced Hangover RX. It's almost like a primer slash moisturizer. And I actually want to see if glycerin is in here because if glycerin, yes. Glycerin is in here, steric acid is in here. This would, it has hyaluronic acid. It has some really great ingredients. You know Pacifica, well, some of you may not know, but it is a 100% vegan and cruelty free. I wanna pick some more of this up. This is like amazing. And I don't even think this is full size. This is 1.7 ounces. I hope that they have a larger size in this because this stuff is amazing. Products like this make me want to go deeper into a brand and find other gems. But this was the business. If you have dry skin, look for this. 
This is the L'Oreal Revita Lift Anti-Wrinkle Firming Day Lotion. This is so good. It is not a greasy type of day cream. It has SPF 30. I really did like this and it pairs really well with my Moisture Blur Revita Lift by L'Oreal. I really do like the two and yeah, I just, I'm glad. I got it on sale, but I really am glad I picked this up. I have an oldie and a goodie in terms of palettes. This is my Manny MUA palette by Makeup Geek. I pulled this out because you know I did a palette collection and declutter on my channel. I will definitely link it over here so you guys can check it out. But this wasn't going anywhere. It has an amazing mirror and I really do like these shadows. Very Smooth Makeup Geek to me is one of the best companies for affordable, like high-end status type of makeup. I really do like this. Of course, I love these shadows here. Reminds you of a lot of those shades from the Modern Re Renaissance palette with like pops of color. So to me, these definitely look like they are from the Modern Renaissance palette. I want to say um, I'll have to check the link. I know that they did a restock, a final restock on this, and I'm not sure, but if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend this palette. A lot of people may disagree. I might get the hammer from some people when I say this, but this Meet Mat Matrimony by The Balm, to me, is a balm, for, by the way. But I actually love this a lot better than the Urban Decay Ultimate Matte Palette, the, the Ultimate Basics Palette, that's what it's called. I actually tried that a couple of times in the store. Um, the One of the sales associates did a look on me. I kept going back into Macy's, trying it out. Definitely is really, really a good palette. It definitely has a lot of shadows. Urban Decay to me, is really good when they come to when it comes to quality of shadows but this meat matrimony I feel like it does not get enough hype here on YouTube I felt like it was like oh it's a good palette and then kind of went away this is a really good palette if you love mattes and I feel like I don't think it's as expensive but I really do like this I feel like that this is a great palette it kind of reminds me even the smoothness and texture of this reminds me of the Visart or the Viseart however you want to say it it reminds me of those shadows and to me these are a little bit more smoother I'm just saying but and more and more pigmented these are very pigmented now I, I, I really wish they would come out with more shadows but look how much you're getting in the palette anyway so I absolutely love this and it blends like a dream so Highly, highly, highly suggest that you pick this up. This next first base, this is one of the easiest base to put on. This is a primer spray. Kind of reminds you of the Smashbox Primer Water. I'm gonna check ingredients because it might even have some of the same ingredients, but I absolutely love this. It's really, really great. If you have dry skin, this is a great primer. If you're not really into poor minimizing primers, and you just need something to make the makeup stay and last longer, this is the way to go. I really do enjoy this primer spray. Okay, so I know this is gone, but I have just been enjoying my Makeup Forever face and body. I just love, love, love this. And I the shade is even off, but like I said, the water blend, I like too. I just like this a little bit more, but oh my goodness, Makeup Forever. Y'all know complexion products, okay? Absolutely love this. And it just gives me the light skin, fresh glow. Amazing, I love this. So I've been using this nonstop. I am gonna put this in a project, use up the stash in 2017. Yes, I am. And also what I have been loving is my NARS. This is the weightless, luminous weightless all day. Y'all know, it's a long name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. This is in Medium Dark 1 Syracuse. I love this. It does have a pump. Y'all can tell I've been using it. Let me put it back on because it looks kind of nasty. 
but I really have been enjoying this. I got through my NARS Sheer Glow. I am trying to use up some of my foundations before they go bad. I am coming with makeup inventory because I feel like it's really important, especially when you have a collection and you don't want stuff to go bad. Before you put it on your face, a lot of times we have breakouts because product has gone bad, like I had a couple of weeks ago. So. I have been really enjoying this and it does give a, to me, it gives like a good, it to me it's like a matte satin. Depending on how you apply it with a brush or with a beauty blender, I love using a beauty blender with this. I just have to, it says shake well, it's like that serum type of, it's runny to me but I really do uh, like this and my skin loves it too. And it's flawless. Like this is an event, this is event type of foundation. So I've been loving this. In terms, now we've gone from high end, now we're gonna go like low end on the rail. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Baby Doll. I cannot believe how many times I've used this. It is a beautiful like pink shade and it has like a sheen in it. And it's so beautiful. I think a couple of you all have been asking me what I was wearing on my cheeks and this is so, so beautiful. Now I don't have that on today. Today I have on Makeup Geek Spellbound, which I really, really like. But it's one of those Moby shades that you can kind of wear with everything if you know, you don't know, you know what I'm saying? So, by the way, this is the look that I wore at Gen Beauty. I really do like it and I'll list everything, of course, down below what's on my face. Oh, I can't forget about this mascara. This is the Tardiest. This is the Tardiest mascara and I have been loving this. I've been using this instead of my Lights Camera Lashes. I haven't decided which one I love the most. Like, this is like picking Joseph and Elijah like children, right? So you just keep both of them. Don't decide. Just keep both of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have been loving, loving, loving my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpt Brow. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Like, I don't understand why more people aren't talking about this. Like, I talked about this over and over again, but I love the fact that it has this sculpting brow where you can like do the little highlight brush in here and it has the powder and then it also has the spoolie on the other end. I love this. And my fragrance of the month has been this by Scentbird. It is the Bulgari Omnia Crystalline. Yes, it smells so good. And I like those pretty like soft, type of scents. I don't know if that makes sense, but I really do love this. And I have been using these nonstop. These are great to like throw in your purse. It was great during Gen Beauty just to like throw in my bag and you know, retouch up, smell good. Yeah. Now let's get to the flop. Y'all, I'm coming with a review of both the, the difference between the Pro Sculpt and this. This is by NYX. This is the 3-in-1 Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Black. Now, as you can tell, both of these look alike. This one is a little bit more sturdier, but in no wise is it better. Um, I kid you not. I really wanted this to work. First of all, this, I wish this didn't have any product at all on it. This, I showed y'all on Snapchat, it just did not work. The ink actually was splotchy and it ran and it was just, it's like eyeliner wet. Maybe that will change as the product gets older because sometimes like mascara that happens, but it was totally a flop for me. I'm, I hope I'm not going to give up on it though. I don't want to give it up on it. The other thing is that the there is no like slanted tip. This came very round and circular and now it's starting to dull. So what happens with these? The reason why Anastasia the Brow Definer and the Pro Brow Sculpt by Makeup Forever has that ergonomic triangle is because it stays like in the shape where you can actually sculpt the brow. This one made it very, very hard because it is round and blunt and you really have to, like with something like this, you definitely have to go in and use a concealer. There's no way you could use this and get a nice, good brow 
um, and it look clean and beautiful. Even filling in your brows, I feel like, you know, I wouldn't recommend this to fill the brows, but yeah, this was a fail for me and I'm sorry. So those are my favorites, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this favorites for January. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't, and I will see you in the next few days in another video. Bye, loveys.